I've been asked this question, so I want to answer this question again before you people. That is, Corey, is it okay to get a tattoo? Is it wrong to have a tattoo? Is it ungodly? Is it a sin to have a is it a sin to have a tattoo? Well, what I want to do is I want to give you a godly reason to get a tattoo. I want to give you a biblical reason to get a to get a tattoo. I want to give you a godly reason, a biblical reason to get a tattoo. You should get a tattoo if you meet this. If this is in place, then by all means get a tattoo. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10 31, whether you eat or whether you drink, whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Give no offense either to Jews or to Greek or to the church of God, just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of the many, so that the many may be saved. And so if you meet this criteria, then by all means, get a tattoo. What's the criteria? Well, whatever you do, if you get a tattoo to the glory of God, if your tattoo is going to glorify God, well, then go ahead. Now, the question is, is it? Well, but it's a verse. And so this scripture gives glory to God because people are going to see the tattoo. Are they going to see the tattoo or are they going to just see you, the tattoo on you? Now, notice what he also says. And give no offense either to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God. Will someone, especially even in the church of God, will they find offense at that? Is that promoting that whatever you do, it should be not for you, but for God, making people look to him, not to you. Oftentimes, I won't say always because I know someone's going to come back and say, well, uh, Corey, that's not true with me. So I won't say always. But oftentimes when we get a tattoo, we're thinking, how does it look on me? How does it make me look? I think that will look cute. I think that looks nice. That'll be awesome. That'll be cool. That'll be bad. Whatever, whatever adjective or vernacular phrase you want to use is typically about us. And therein lies the issue. Paul says, let this mind that the same mind is in Christ be in us who humbled himself, even to the point of death. You don't have to humble yourself to the point of death, but sometimes we do things to, hey, look at me, check me out. And oftentimes, let's be honest, most cases you can't even see your tattoo. Most cases, even once you can see, you've ignored, you don't think about. Uh, when we get a tattoo, it's typically for others. Now I say we, I don't have any because I don't think I need any. I don't think that God necessarily wanted me to have one. If you feel differently, then then fine. You're not going to hell uh, for, for getting one. Uh, you're not going to have to sit at the back of the church. You're not going to have to sweep up after the service because you have one. I'm not saying that. But if you're doing it to bring attention to yourself, then don't do it. That's a bad reason. That's an unbiblical reason. As a matter of fact, that's, an un that's a good reason to not get a certain hairstyle. That's a good reason to not wear certain clothes. If what, are you, if what you're doing is for the express purpose or will bring attention to you, then don't do it. If you like these, you like that earring, you like this hairstyle, you like to bring attention to yourself, look at me. That is a selfish reason. And if that's the reason why you got the tattoo, selfish reason. If that's the reason why you got that car, selfish reason. If that's the reason why you have that hairstyle, selfish reason. Don't do it because you're not glorifying God. You are glorifying yourself and you put yourself in the position that interferes with someone actually seeing God. If someone can't see God, even the God in you, because of what you're doing, well, then stop it. There's nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, let's be honest. Let, okay, let's be honest. Most of you that have them are going to regret them later on anyway. I'm not saying all. I said most. And then some of you are going to ignore them. You're good. They're going to look old. Listen, they, they, I can tell you this. They're not going to look good on 70, 60, 70, 80 year old skin. They're just not. The bulk of your life, they're not going to look that great. As a matter of fact, they're going to look out of place. Here you are, 50, 60, 70. How does that look? You got them at 20. It's a permanent expression for a moment's judgment. Meaning you thought something looked nice at that time. And so for the next 50, 60 years, that is, if you don't get it removed, you're going to wear that. Think about what you're going to do. And is it necessary? What happens if you don't get the tattoo? Well, Life still lives. As a matter of fact, you might end up thanking yourself for not getting it. Again, I know a lot of folks who don't like the ones they have. So if you got one, fine. Uh, should you go out and get some more? Probably not. I would say personally, no, I think you look beautiful. I think you look wonderful. I think you're handsome. 
without the tattoo. I think you are just like God made you the way he wanted you to. And I don't know that God actually ordained or sent ink your way to be on your skin. That's just me. I could be wrong. But can we find a biblical reason to get one? Not that I can find. Not that I can see.